Well, it must be Saturday morning. Getting out here into the back country a little bit, not too far. Neat looking mountains over there. I haven't done anything over there yet. I'm gonna have to research and do some of that. We're heading out next to a mine that I've already filmed once, but I was looking better and uh, there's another mine about a mile east of it and the road has just about disappeared, according to the maps. So we're gonna go out and explore that one and see what we can come up with. Having a little fun on a Saturday. All right, we're a couple miles into the drive here. It's a pretty little drive, checking out our mountains here, looking for any workings that might not have been labeled. You can definitely see that we're prospecting over here, but nothing significant, at least that we can see. So that's all we're doing is getting out, enjoying the day. Fun little wash here, a little soft, not too bad. It's a little washed out from the rains the last time I've been up here, but other trucks have been through and flattened it out a little bit for us. Works out fine for me. So I think we're about a half mile or a mile from the one mine that I already filmed. And we need to go to that mine and turn. I didn't film inside of the mine, it just had a really big mill site. The mine was back gated, so I couldn't get in there easy. As a shaft too, so you'd be repelling. This road is neat, it's there, but it's we had that big storm come through. And with these bushes, the road just kind of hides and you're just snaking your way through them. It's fun to drive. See that right there looks, looks like it's been worked. That doesn't really look natural. Poking around the desert, having a little desert explore. We are on a BLM open route, so I'm not just taking any road I want. Plus we got power lines there, so it's also a power line service road. Epic views. Really nice morning, probably mid 70s, I don't know, maybe 80 on the high end. It's a fun day. I see something up there. Yeah, there's our old mine site. There's a, let me get a little closer. Look how undercut that bank is. A lot of water to do that.
Yeah, dude, you can advertise that to your new girlfriends. It'll be like sagebrush cologne. There's only one way to get it. Here is the old mill site that we had filmed before. The opening is, is 50 feet behind that little five-story mill, but it's all back-gated. There's an old car down the hill there, some water tanks, old buildings. I didn't research what it was. It was probably a, a silver mine. But we filmed we filmed that before. There was no way no way to go into it. They have this little building right here that it looks like people are camping at. Labeled as a mill. People are camping up there. I'm trying to go that way. So I got people up here. I'm gonna turn off the camera. We are gonna figure out where our road is and we'll bring it back. Alright, we think we found the road. There's our campers over there. Sure they're enjoying their weekends. I didn't talk to them or nothing. I don't really know why they're out there, but that's their business, not mine. On the maps, this road doesn't look very good. It's actually looking better in person than I thought it did on the maps. We are going to slog through this for about a half a mile or a mile. There definitely should be another good mill site over there. I see a lot on uh, I see a lot on the maps. This used to be a pretty decent road, you know, it's it's packed up pretty good. Oh yeah, beautiful country colors as far as I can see oh man there's a nice little wash we could have drove up It's always interesting how you're out here and you think you see, you think you see nothing. There's nothing around. You got processed wood sticking out of the ground right there. Something was built there. No clue what. It was probably just to keep out sign or something. But Sorry about the sun and the camera lens. There's not really anything I can do about that. That's what happens when you head east in the morning. Remnants of an old cabin here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of little structures here. Let's go and take a look at this. Look around, see if we got any shafts. So you got your old wood here. Obviously some rocks stacked over here. There's another little cabin right on the side of that hill. The wood's really old, really rotten. Those are round nails though, so it's not super ridiculously old. That's still filled. Yeah. Still filled. What? It's full? I'm pretty sure. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. 
The boy just found a can full of food still. Yeah, if you shake it, it's... I ain't touching it, dude. I don't know what's inside of it. Uh, no, you don't. Why? You open that up, you're going to smell a smell you wish you'd never smelled. Old cast iron piping right there. That's, Some big nails. That's cool, though. <coughs> yeah, this was a pretty decent sized building before it blew down. Looks like something's got a pretty good nest built there. I don't, I don't think, I think something built a nest. But yeah, that was a pretty good stack rock building. So, when I see a building this size, it always makes me think there's something more. Because that's a, that's a decent building. We're about halfway to where I wanted to be. I saw this one on the map too, but it looked small compared to the other one. So the other one might be really cool. So we got some strapping, neat little miscellaneous stuff. The cans look like 1950s or newer, so it's not that good. This actually kind of looks like an open cut right here, but who knows? Oh, is that a shaft? Damn it. Okay? Yeah. Stupid ground. <laughs> Aw. I don't know if that was a shaft that's all plugged up and closed or a little miner's dugout. All the stacked rock makes me think it was just a dugout. Obviously, I just fell on my ass because all this little loose ground here. More wood right there. Screen timed out so I couldn't see what I was looking at. Had to turn it off and back on. No clue, maybe claim markers, maybe sign, I don't know. Looking right down here in that wash, <coughs> I can see some pretty heavy duty wood buried in the ground like a sign sticking up there. Actually looks like that kind of used to be a road. Maybe it still is. Oh, there's a tunnel. Maybe that's what they were mining. Get over there and see if that's worth coming in. Damn, I'm getting ready to freaking fall again. Another little miner's dugout here. Old school paint can. Food and drink cans, but I don't see solder bottoms on any of them. Tells me the late 40s or newer, probably after the war. Little quartz outcropping here, that's what they're sampling. I don't see a single tire track in this wash, so it probably doesn't go through down that way. Looks like it has rock step or something, but we'll figure it out. We're not going this way, we're going that way.
A little bit of ground fall. I can see light over there. This one goes about 20 feet and then it's either collapsed or open stoped or open cut, sorry. <clears throat> Always fun to find this stuff. I'm gonna climb around up on this hill and see what, see why that's opened up and then we'll go from there. We'll bring you back. All right, so we went to the top of this little one right here. That That is an open cut. You can see they worked it over here. Just poking around here, it looked like a little bit of a road. We got buildings up here. So that canyon pinches out. We got tailings piles. Looks like back gating up there, but we'll take a look. I don't know if you guys can see that down in the wash. Looks like the top to a uh, water tank or something. A little cone shape down there. That's cool. Road doesn't go any farther there. They couldn't get up it. That shaft looking thing up there. What I called a building was actually a mill site. This is where the trucks would pull up to load up. Balls of guys. That just looks like a uh, platform to deliver the ore out on. Yeah, definitely mill site. See where they had their stuff bolted down? Don't know what that would have been for. Up here, I imagine this would have been their crusher. <coughs> Two shoot ore band. Pretty good size too. Those hills are hell to climb. The size of those bolts for that crusher. It's probably inch and quarter, inch and a half bolt. <coughs> Somebody was out here with oxy settling trying to cut that stamp mill off whoever stole that various tidbits and trinkets we got a couple more levels up there let me look at this right here somebody got a quad or something up here recently Battery box, maybe. Waste rock pile right there. 
And this is gonna be their old shaft. Oh man, look at that side. That one is all loose rocks ready to come down on you. So loose they almost look stacked. That one right there goes deeper than I can see. Seems like it stopped maybe a hundred feet. Maybe a hundred, 200 feet before it turns. There's a gate to get in it all locked up. I spent a lot of money on this. Uh, I call them bat gates. I need to just keep miners or explorers out. Whatever, I'm no, I'm no expert. Locked up nice and tight, locks look fairly new. We got, those look like muck sheets almost. Parts of a bin. There's that orbin from a distance. You see everything was loading from the top, so there's gotta be another portal up there somewhere. Dug it out a little bit right there. Just following on these roads. Curious as to where they go and why. Now you can see prospects and stuff right along this, this ridge here. This road used to go into this wash that went up but we're on a road just on the other side of this little hill that'll meet up with that same wash, trying to get through farther east, like I'd mentioned. The peace and quiet is perfect. You can barely see that other mill site off in the distance. just open, open cutting right here. A lot of quartz in this little vein here. I don't know, maybe there was some gold. Enough to make it worth it for him to look more, I guess. Road goes over there. <coughs> oh, what's that? <coughs> Concrete pad, wooden blocks. Those things are huge. Maybe a, I don't know. Things pretty interesting. Here's right on top of the mill site. Looking down, following their little miner's trail. Trying to figure out how they got all the ore up here to process. Stacked rock wall right there, a little flat area. <sighs> a 
another road up there, damn it. I know I'm fat and old, I don't wanna climb hills. I'll be up there in a second. <laughs> There's the shot up water cyanide tank, one of the two. This is their ore bin. Very cool looking. There's that shaft we already looked at. Here's their other shaft. Same setup, same locks. Seems like about the same, roughly 100 feet. Big old flattened out area for working up here. Road goes over that way. Some kind of steel box. So here's our view right now. Can't hear anything. Can't even hear my kid or see my truck. I wonder where the hell he went. Oh. It's a great day to be out exploring. We'll turn you off for a minute. Let me find my kid and we'll bring you back. Here's an interesting look at some of their waste rock they were pulling out and throwing away. You see a little bit of the quartz banding in there. It's neat looking stuff. The other mines I found in this area that were labeled were labeled silver mines. So I'm not a geology expert, but I'm not seeing a lot of the gray, lock, gray rocks that I'd usually associate with Galena, but I mean, that's some pretty okay looking quartz right there. That stuff there is almost clear. You know, I don't know if that's calcite, the real white stuff. Experts can tell you. Couldn't find any openings up here so far. I guess they were probably all shafts. Winched up here and then winched all the ore up here and then went down. There's buried stuff though that's pretty neat. Buried lumber, buried the buried vent tubing over there. These railroad tie size things are pretty substantial. Let's see if I can get down and take a look in this ore bin without falling in it. Probably can't. At least not easy. It's a pretty good size ore bin. All this stuff built up on the top. I don't know. Maybe they had the winch up there too or something. Interesting looking ratchety style things. Oh, they got some real big bolts coming out there. Maybe they had the winch or, or a tram type thing bolted in up there. We'll poke around a little longer, bring you back when we're on to something else. We got around to the other side of the mountain here. We found... Possibly dynamite storage container right there. See how thick those walls are? Nothing there. Here's the rest of that water tank we saw the lid for down there. That's pretty cool. I think it's pretty massive too. It's all riveted, so I don't know if they built that on site. Oh, it's riveted. Is it welded too? Some parts look like they're welded and riveted, but that could be tar. Absolutely huge. These sheets are about three and a half feet wide. So, I think that I think this is the big mine I was looking for. I don't have anything with GPS in my pocket. It's all on in my truck, so I'll have to go back there and relook. But I'm seeing I'm seeing a landmarker I was supposed to pay attention to, so.
That's a carriage bolt. I'll take one look at the top of the hill, then I'll turn you off. Oh, here's the concrete platform for the water tank. Interesting. So yeah, we're at the very top now. That's an absolutely huge water tank. Another little octagon. One over here, no clue what that was for. So that was our mine site find for the day. We'll keep looking around, see what else we can find. All right, so we're back over at that first shaft that I looked down and we were looking better. These are supposed to be silver mines. Right there, it's kind of hard to make out on that uh, rock right there. There's a stripe of galena, nice bright gray, a lot of little drops over there. And you start looking at these, t these waste rocks right up above the top of this hole, we're seeing little pieces of galena. So these were silver mines, not just quartz. Who knows how deep they go? I'd have to look a little more on them, but interesting places. Can't get in them, but interesting places. There's a picture of the ore bin. My kid's standing at the bottom just for size reference. He's about six foot right now. Mill site. It's a neat place. I think this was my end destination mine, so mine. So we'll keep looking around, find some more stuff to do for a while. There's a mountain we were just walking all around. Orbin's barely visible right there. Wanted to see what was down this wash because we had all the looks, kind of looks like tram cable to me. But we come up, up, we come up just around this little bin here. Oh, look at that little waterfall. That looks epic. Telling the boy right down here in the bedrock of this waterfall is where I'd want to sample for some gold. All the years of it coming down there with all those quartz veins. Goodest place in any, I would say. All right. He's saying it's a straight down drop right there. Oh, look at all that cable in the bottom though. Right here would be doable. Uh, it looks straight down too. Let me get down there a little bit. Nice and cool down in the little canyon thingy here, the waterfall. And various little things. This rock is all smooth to the touch from all the years. Of, oh, just bashed my arm. From all the years of water flowing over it, that's pretty cool. Sitting and everything else is jagged and sharp as it can be. So let's see what we got here. Pretty neat. That's probably about 20 feet down. Whole lot of cable down there. This had to be, they had to have a little tramway going out of here to move the ore out easier. So who knows how much working's underneath those, those gates. I don't, oh, dead center on the screen. If you zoom in, it looks like a head gasket for a straight six. That long board right there right to the right of it looks like a head gasket for an engine that's cool yeah i mean a person could get down this but there's no net gain for us you could scurry right down this side down to this side get down to that step right there and then figure it out from there but you'd only be about six or eight feet from the ground oh i can't zoom with my gopro but right down there in the bottom of the center of the screen, right, right at the edge of where the rock's in, there's an end of a dynamite box. You can see all the little tongue and groove fitting that sticks out on them. I'm not a woodworker, so I don't know. They're like that. That looks like the edge of a dynamite box. 
Oh. We're gonna poke around a little bit, enjoy ourselves. Oh, something weird and strange in that wall right there. Uh, enjoy ourselves a little bit. Bring it back. All right, so we're uh, poking around here, trying to find a way all the way across this mountain. There, there used to be ways, but that was who knows how many years ago. So this road right here is gonna take us right up next to where we found that found the water tank at. And we might be able to continue going east and go all the way to the other side of the mountain. But we don't know. We do know of one way to find out though. Make sure it's standing on the road. That one going up that hill, but that don't look super promising. Uh, I mean, thinking we made a wrong decision. Yeah, the chance of that one going all the way through is pretty slim, wouldn't you say? That one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad to try, but just ain't a good road. The map didn't look super promising on roads that went all the way through either. This, this probably just leads to stamp mill and all that. Well, that's exactly where it leads. You see right there, there's that water tank. Yeah. There's that water tank we just looked at. There's a bunch more debris. So it appears that decision was not the correct one. I mean, those two roads look like they go over. Right there. Looks, like, looks like that one might have been an open cut they were trying. That's just about the same strike that the other ones were working on. So, we're going to drive back out the same way we drove in. We do a lot of that. And then we're going to head on to another one. We'll bring it back. So we're driving down the road on our way out here, just making our way. We see a desert tortoise walking down the road right there. As soon as we got out of the truck, he got scared and hid from us, which he is right there. I don't want to, I don't want to harass him too much. So, uh, we're not allowed to touch him and you really shouldn't cause you disturb him. And they'll pee on you and lose all their um, water. Yeah. They'll lose their water. So I just thought I'd bring you back real quick show you the turtle i'll probably try and edit this into being the before i said goodbye but yeah desert tortoise out in the wild pretty cool I always find interesting things in the desert that turtle's pretty cool though i don't want to harass him too much so we're gonna get out of the way we'll we'll let him do what he does so we switched drivers. We decided we're gonna go back out the way we came and we're gonna go over to the lava tubes because we're real close to them and I hadn't take the, taken the boy to them yet. So 
I don't know if we'll find anything else on this adventure. If we do, I'll just make it a different video. You guys stuck around till the end. Thanks for watching. If not, no big deal. Thank you guys for coming by. Later. <laughs>